Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are back with another vlog. We got Shepard chilling on the couch on his little pillow. <laughs> low, low vibes today. Lots of care on the shirt. We're gonna go take our walk, our daily walk. I take this bonnet off, fluff up my hair a little bit. Still feels moisturized under here. Put some leave-in conditioner in it, so it should be okay. We'll probably rinse it out because we have, Tosh and I have an event tonight, so. Not a lot going on. Our car is out of commission, so I have to go drop that off today at the, oh shoot, what time is it? I gotta go drop the car off to get it serviced in 30 minutes. So maybe I won't go for a walk. Well, we can go for a walk. We'll just do a short walk. How's that sound, Shepard? I should shower though. We'll go for a walk when I get back from dropping off the car, because I'm gonna shower. Get ready. Tosha's in the shower now. She has some things to do too. So it's gonna be me and Shepard at the house today, chilling, doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? We got um Tosh and I got some dressing options from Margella, but I'm gonna dive into that later. We got another box from Hoka, so let's do that first. Shepard, what are you doing? We're gonna dive into the Hoka box first. I'm not gonna do the whole try on thing like I did last time, but I will show you guys what I got. All right, quick unboxing real quick. Like I said, not gonna take too much time with this one. My partnership with them is for Instagram, not YouTube. So this is just me showing you guys because I'm excited. Woo. All right, this model we have this time is the Stinson 7 and a nine and a half. They sent me the same shoe twice. They sent me the same shoe twice. I'm gonna send them an email. It's probably a mistake. They'll either want me to send them back or just give them away to somebody. So uh, I'll update you guys once I get that information because maybe I'll give them to one of you guys if you're a size nine and a half and want to try out some Hocus. On to the next. Shepard's back of the box. You want to go inside it? Or do you want to just keep pushing it around? You can't eat it though. That's nasty. I'm sure that doesn't taste good. You didn't like the carrots. I can't imagine you like the cardboard. Yeah, let's just let you push it around for a bit, huh? Or we can do this. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> Shepard. Oh, good job. All right, guys, we are making our way, making our way to the repair shop. Gonna get a diagnostic first. I think I already know what it is because I called my dad and asked him about it. So hopefully it is what he said it is. Not because it'll be cheap, but just so that there's nothing else. And hopefully it'll also be cheap, but we'll see. It's a short drive, which is good because yesterday while we were at the stoplight we're about to go downtown and get some food and stuff we're at a stoplight and it just cuts off like just done and i'm just like okay so we're gonna turn back around now <laughs> i'm gonna make us some food at home i didn't vlog yesterday obviously but um yeah so now we are here about to try and figure out what's going on with the car before i shut the car off I want you guys to hear how the car sounds right now. It's crazy. Not good. Not good. It's also sounded worse. Today's a little calm. So, what are you gonna see? I think it's uh, what my dad told me after I FaceTimed him and showed him where the noise is coming from and stuff that it's probably uh, a loose bolt in the alternator so the alternator will more than likely need to be replaced hopefully they don't you know try and tag me on some other things as well so we gonna see we gonna see uh justin boone have an appointment at 11 a.m okay justin is that for the mercedes yeah yeah i want to get a diagnostic done on it i'm i'm thinking that the alternator is going bad uh, hey, um, do you have the check engine light on? No, the check engine light's not on. No? Oh, no. no. 
Well, what, what's, um, what problems are you having with the girl? If you got some time, I, I can take you outside and turn it on and let you hear it. Some air in the tires. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, they let me know. I gotta walk home. It's not a long walk. And I literally say these things like across the street. This is why I came here. Uh, met Pet Boys, which isn't my preferred, but I definitely wasn't about to go to the dealership. And like I said, Pet Boys are right across the street. So I don't have to call any Ubers. I don't have to sit at the dealership all day. I can literally just walk home. So I'm gonna walk home right now. But they're gonna do a slightly more detailed inspection and check and see what's going on with the car. Um, so hopefully it's not anything too bad because if it's over like $1,500, I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna lie. Tosh and I were already looking at getting another car anyway, so we're just gonna retire it probably or drive it until it literally gives out. So we'll see, but we were already planning on getting a new car and it's looking like it's gonna definitely have to happen before I go to Yellowstone, which is fine. That was the plan anyway, because I didn't want her to, once that noise started happening, I didn't want her to have to drive the car while I'm gone, especially with Shepard. So, we'll see. We're getting a new car at some point, but I'm hoping that I don't have to rush into that decision. Been home all of 10 minutes and just got a call back from Pet Boys. It is indeed the alternator. About twelve fifty in damage. And I said anything under fifteen hundred dollars. So praise God for that. That is definitely a praise report. I'm very thankful uh that I can afford to do that and also thankful that you know it's not too extra of a cost of repair. They said four hours, so I'll have the car back today and be up and running later on this afternoon, I guess. So again, super super grateful and uh I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so while we're waiting on that to happen and while Shepard is napping. I thought it would be a good a good time to show you guys what we got from Margella. Um, again, this was not a purchase. This is a pool. When you go to these high-end luxury events for these brands, oftentimes if you have any level of influence or if the PR company likes you or your style, um, then they offer dressing. So Tosh and I both got offered to be dressed in Margella for the event that's tonight. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So we're gonna dive right in. Now, we don't really get to Pick. I mean, we get to pick, but it's not like, hey, here's the website, pick what you want. Some brands is like that, some brands are not. With Margella, because it is high-end luxury, I'm sure they have a ton of people attending the event. Um, we, our options regarding selections just were not, um, were pretty limited. I think I had like four or five different things to pick from uh, and only had one shoe option. So, so I'm gonna show you guys what Telsha will be wearing footwear-wise. These are, the event is surrounding tabbies. So for all of you guys that don't know, this is the tabby design by uh, Martin, Mason Martin Margiela. This is an iconic design for him right now. They're very popular right now. They've been around for years, but they've currently, they have recently had a resurgence. So she'll be wearing these. Uh, she's really excited about that. And I will also be wearing a pair. These ones are, 
up my alley, but not exactly what I would prefer to wear. I have these ones here. So these ones are cool. I do like the upper material. I just would have liked a bigger heel, not like a heel heel, but they have a pair of tabby cowboy boots on them pop right here. And that's what I would have wanted, but these ones will work. And a lovely double dust bag. So they sent me a full look. It just doesn't match. Like, I don't know, that's what they're No, the shoes don't match the fit. But um, top is cool. It's like this sweater uh, integrated into this button up. So full integration, really cool design, honestly. So I'll try all this stuff on before we get dressed so you guys will see it, not now, but a little bit later. And then here are the pants, which are just some gray trousers with the iconic Margiela stitching. Uh, that's like their telltale. And it's just a sew on their tag here. This is my look for Margiela right here. Let's see, I'll do this. This is my look for Margiela tonight. This, however, is Tosha's fit, which is fire. And she got a collection with the Pendleton collab. So this is all Pendleton flannel, uh, Pendleton wool flannels, which is so dope in my opinion. I love that they did this. This is gonna be really sick. I think Tosha's gonna body this. Like I mentioned, with the heel, so sick, like super fire. Sorry guys, I, I couldn't wait. I just had to try it on. I'm gonna let you guys see. What I am now going to do is pick out my outfit for tonight because not happening. Not even a slight chance that that's happening. So we are going to pull together a fit and we're going to love it. So here's where we're going. So simple, yes. But sometimes simple is the way to go. I um, am trying to pull together something out of my closet that feels and looks Margiela still. So this t-shirt I actually own already and is Marshalla. And then I have these jeans that I just got that I just showed you guys that also read as if they are Marjola. So get some extra light in here. So I'm gonna try this out and see where we are and what we need to do to make it take it to the next level. So this a thousand percent feels more like me. I put my belt on, put my belt on here. It's given like cowboy boot almost. Yeah, this is now. What I could also do, this is another Margiela tea that I oil stained. So I'm gonna try that one on too and see. But I think the white one's a move, but I'm just gonna try. So yeah, there's this one too, which is cool. But I feel like it's a little too, not bad. I'm gonna go get my belt. I would love, I wish I had a blazer. If I wear the white tee and put a blazer on top, and I feel like I would be perfect. Yeah, it's definitely giving white tee. This is the vibe. I took one of my socks off just to see if, how it feels with no sock. Cause with the sock, it kind of hurts a little bit, but this is, for sure the vibe right here. I love this. And if I wanted to, I'd put a thermal on underneath it, give it like an upper layer. Or just do a t-shirt. I think the t-shirt is very like Western and authentic to Western. So yeah, I think this is how I'm gonna show up today, tonight. Like just on my casual vibes, you know, just real chill, real like, What's up? I'm here. Thank you guys so much for having me. I just gotta do my hair before this evening. Okay, thoughts, go. Oh, what? what do you think? What? White t-shirt? All right, I'm gonna pop my t-shirt in the wash because the collar's a little flimsy. But this is the fit for tonight. This feels way better. So I just tried throwing this white t-shirt, I mean white, not t-shirt. I just tried throwing this white shirt on top. 
and Tosha says this is the one. So I don't even know what I look like in the mirror right now, but let's see. I think she was just afraid that like, just the white shirt was giving too casual. So if I throw this on on top of it, then it's a little more, you know, like I'm actually showing up for something. I just usually wouldn't do this. So this one I'm gonna have to sit with, figure it out. So I'm not sure if this is really my vibe or not, but good thing is I have time. I have time to figure it out. No. This is everything that goes into this though, guys. For all of you that would like to be influencers or want to get invited to the events and all that stuff, this is all a part of it right here. I don't know, I'm feeling the t-shirt. Especially if I work out today and I can feel this joint out. Like, I work out a little bit. I throw it in the wash also. I think that's the move. I think the t-shirt's the vibe. Hey, why are you fussing? I know you don't want to be in your car seat anymore. Mommy's almost here, and then we're gonna get moving, okay? Okay? Yeah. I know, Papa. She was ready to go. I've been out here for almost five minutes now. I'm just like, bro, what is going on? I don't want to take Shepard out of his stroller. You know, I know that's what he wants to do right now. But we figure it out. All right, Shepard got me to take him out. Since we're waiting, get some sun, see the cars. I don't know where we are right now, but we're up in the hills. So she's at an event for Nike. She couldn't get a plus one, so. I mean, it's a woman's thing anyway. I wasn't really trying to go. We were supposed to stay at home, but we had some, we want to go and set up a bank account for Shepard. So we were like, I'll come with you guys and then figure it out after that, so. That Shepard wants to ride in the car. Look at him, all comfortable. Not whining anymore. Still sitting down, but just not fussing. It's okay. You're gonna get your new car seat, and then you can sit forward and see the world. But you can't be in the front seat. But you can sit sitting forward. How about that? Sorry, I was talking to uh, Juliet Johnson. That's out here waiting. Talking about, I'm, I'm ready. Sorry. I said, where is he? And I'm, I'm ready. ready. And I said, I'm here. I was like, oh shoot. Yeah, I was like. 10 minutes ago. I did some content. Okay guys, I'm um, taking over Justin's, I'm taking over Justin's vlog. Sorry, I'm eating candy. I'm addicted. Here at a Nike swim event, we got the cutest bikinis, the cutest bags. We get little jewelry, we have like little champagnes. It's so beautiful here. I'm obsessed with LA events. Thank you Mo and Nike for having me. It's so cute. Just taking over his vlog for a quick thing. Girls only. But I want you guys to see. I'm in every side of me. I like to get it poppin'. But these bitches in my business call me ultra juice and violence. If you see me out in public, you don't know me. Keep it silent. In the bedroom, I'll be screaming. But outside, I keep it quiet. Alright, guys. There she is. Old Faithful. She's back. I don't know if the guy that was helping me, who you guys saw earlier and who was helping me out was running the service on the car, but he was super surprised at the mileage. The reason why I was so nervous about the car is because it has 252,000 miles on it. So we very well could have been at the end of our journey and uh, she's back to normal. We are back on the road, baby, four hours later. So sounding good. I now have a lifetime warranty, which is nice um, on this alternator. And I have a one year service warranty. So if anything happens, anything starts acting wonky, I can bring it back and they'll take care of it for your charge. So that's very cool in my opinion. Heading back to the house to figure out what's for lunch and then off to Margiela. All right guys, we're heading out. I added a hat to the fit. Stay true with the jeans, t-shirt, roll it up the, up the sleeves a little bit. You want your trap stick? I have one. Exactly. Magic. Oh, stop. So would have thought. <laughs> I'm dead. 
Finally made it to the Margiela event. It was... Kill that dad. Kill that dad. Oh, wow. What are you talking about? These are the first tabbies to ever walk a runway, which is crazy. It's so far that these are here. This is sick. I mean to get the fuck on my space The placements on the way we don't play Pussy spin like a brain escape Ain't no trick or that don't change I'm fucking lying We are home. It has been a long day. Tosh and I are both starving. Um, and I ain't really got nothing else to say. I will see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your energy. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.